Hello and welcome back to my series of videos about old calculators. In a previous video I was talking about small adding machine and showed a couple of them that I had on my collection like the Resulta machine or uh, Summit and Todd and this one is a new one that I got. Um, it looks exactly like a Todd uh, machine but it's not Todd. However, if you read the label here, it says this is a stall adding machine made by Todd. So it's kind of a mystery to me if it's a Todd or not. Um, and I look up the, the patent for this one, it's not Todd, it's for somebody else. And it's from 1917. But anyway, that's a very nice and interesting machine and it, it works exactly the same way as the other one. You put the the wheels, the number on the wheels here, and as soon as you pass the 10, it's carried over to the to the next one, and this one is for reset. So interesting machine, uh, 1917, so about 100 years old, and still in uh, very good shape. So why do I talk about that? It's just to introduce the next one, which is this one. Uh, it's called the Educated Monkey. And uh, this one is from 1915, so it's exactly 100 years old. Uh, it looks like this. It's, uh, it's a game, it's a toy for uh, children at that time. And uh, the name is console here, the educated monkey. So when you look at that now, it doesn't make a lot of sense because it, you don't have the reference of this time. but. Let's go back in time and let's go back to 1909 and one of the movies that you could see was called Console uh, Crosses the Atlantic. It uh, was a black and white silent movie and it was about a monkey like this uh, coming from Africa going to America on a boat and of course the, the monkey did a bunch of tricks on, on the boat and all the movie was supposed to be a funny movie about this monkey and I wish I could see the, the movie but I couldn't find it so far. The only thing I found was a black and white picture where you can see the monkey on the, on the ship and uh, the monkey is smoking a cigar and that, that's interesting because it shows you what, how they did movie at that time. So anyway, how does it work? Well, um, it's moving here and the idea was that you could align the legs here to two different numbers and uh, the hands will show you the multiplication of those two numbers. So let's start with an easy one, 4 times 8 and the monkey answers 32. That's a smart monkey. Uh, I think it was luck. I don't trust a monkey to, to know everything like that so I'm gonna try a very difficult one, 5 times 12. 60. Whoa, that's really a smart monkey. Uh, so anyway, that's a game that was, uh, I don't know if it was very popular because I don't know if they sold a bunch of them. You can find them sometimes here for sale, but uh, they, they are not in a very good shape. And uh, this one is a very good example here. It looks almost new. I mean, I, I don't know if anybody played with that before. So one other interesting thing here, if you look at the, the manual or the brochure that goes with it, um, the last line here, so it, it says, you know, how you can use it, but the last line says, it makes no difference to the monkey whether children are bright or stupid. He never loses patience. So that was a very interesting marketing line here. Uh, just say that uh, even if you have stupid kids, they can still play with that. I don't know how it would work today, but at that time, I guess that was okay. So anyway, that's uh, that's a nice toy, um, interesting one, a hundred years old, and I think it is part also of the calculator history, even if it's not really a calculator, but it's related to that anyway. So thank you for listening, and. Um, I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video and of course I'm going to talk about something completely different.